my Instagram is dead and I am the only responsible for that. Am I a fraud or am I afraid? Yes, you heard that right. I am the possessor of a fashion-related page with a 47,000 strong follower scout, which is slowly dying in my arms. I killed off my profile and now I have to build an Instagram with all the comforts. Ciao a tutti, my name is Stefania. I'd like to say welcome back to my channel, but because this is my first ever foray into YouTube, I'd just be happy if you subscribe. In this video, I'm going to talk about the shady tactics I use to grow my Instagram fast. Some more common, some less known, and why you should stay totally off them for your own safety. Safety. <laughs> I hope that talking candidly about the silly wrongdoing I made with my own account will help to preserve yours. Basically, you owe me your social media life. Well, first of all, let me just say, I've always been a kind of a, a reluctant social media user just because I rate myself as a proper loner. Then, in 2018, I quickly made a friend in real life, Ciao Valentina, and I wanted more, like millions of friends. I therefore thought it was a genius idea to land on social networks. At the time, I had two main addictions, which I still have, outlandish fashion and Coca-Cola. So I had two niches to choose between. So Italian fashion was born because I'm Italian and because I am a fashion. As soon as I started uploading some marine evening gowns on my grid, followers poured in in droves. Well, more or less. The more pink fluff I posted, the more likes I got. That can be quite addictive and also consider that for the algorithm, it is natural to cut you a lot in the very beginning so that you glue to the platform longer and longer. Imagine to be this beautiful newborn and getting all the attention. Perfectly normal, same with Instagram. At first, it gives you a lot of coverage, a lot of exposure on purpose, and by doing so, it plays on your insecurities too. On my insecurities too. <laughs> To go back to my Instagram lost dignity, what I did is following a lot of pages manually and being followed back. It was like a game, a bite level game. Yes, my kind spectators, this is the first huge mistake I made. Focusing on amassing quite an audience and centering on mere numbers, rather to build meaningful relationship and engagement based on shared passions and values. Having the coolest followers versus following ratio was always trending on my mind. I completely lost sight of the main purpose of social networks, which is making friends, basically my original goal. I knocked everyone's door, regardless of the fact we didn't really match in tastes at Oh, not saying this with a negative connotation, just speaking here, totally different niches. The preacher, the struggling actor, the underage footballer, the suicidal emo kid, the college professor, parrots and cats, love poems and smelly ties without having a fetish for them. And then after binging on people, of course I had to make a choice. I ended up unfollowing my own fiance and when he confronted me, I just said, oh, as a feminist, this is the only way to my independence. <laughs> okay. I did the same with my mama. And when she nicely called me out, I said I needed to cut ties with the womb. For frequently asked question, what happens technically when you're out to get a lot of subscribers with no real liaison to your own page just for the sake of bettering your stats? Well, you see the effects of this crazy rat race the moment you post a picture out to the world. Few users will actually engage with it because they're just not into you, a famous movie went. This, if you're lucky, at worst, they're gonna spot you in their feed and ask themselves, who is this and the bank to Barbados, I swear. Instagram will subsequently take a note and restrict your exposure and organic reach due to the fact that you're just not that popular question answered. You may well have a look at my Italian fashion to double check on this. I must confess that in the last year, I've really dreaded posting any of my trashy outfits because likes are just not happening for me outside a restricted circle of aquatines. Aquatines. Aquatines? Aquatines. My engagement ratio is very, very low. I have gotten to the point of putting out content every three weeks in the hope of raking up validation here and there with some tweaks, you know, basically just back. 
Unfortunately, I've got no tits to put on show. This would have sorted me out. It's only actually in the last two weeks that I felt the need to press the reset button and start all over again. So I decided to tighten my posting schedule. I plucked my courage and bravely uploaded daily, even twice a day, putting my face out there again. My ego was thoroughly demolished, but I persevered. Just going for it. So to come clean, these are my current stats. If outside is sunny and everyone's jolly, I get maximum 120 likes. If instead outside is gloomy and rainy like today, they drop down to 70 per picture. Nothing really important, just a disaster. These days, I'm forever questioning myself, is this the profile of an alpha female? Better not ask. This is my Bad Karma account, a dystopian Instagram. The more you grow, the more you're ghosted. Ciao, 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 ciao. In fact, I only do small talk to myself these days. On top of that, the follow and follow tactic is real nasty. When I was at the receiving hand of it, I really didn't like that. And in the long run, it doesn't work. Then, what I truly think is that after the tur all the turmoil we've had in the last year, we should be more compassionate and willing to bond with people rather to let them go to exotic islands. In the end, these ups and downs in numbers turned out to be a threat to my very existence on the platform. Trust me, Instagram's algorithm today is as sharp as a knife. You cannot escape. It will find you and there will be blood, a lot of that. You'll be socially dead in no time like your ancient MySpace, that is. Instagram's algorithm, the holy grail we can never fully grasp. And I didn't either. This was possibly my second big faux pas. You say that? Faux pas. Not really coming to terms with an ever-changing social media artificial intelligence. Since my entering the Instagram arena three years ago, it has evolved for the worse, stricter and stricter, catching any suspicious or doctored activity online. In fact, if you know this, the Instagram management arranges a kind of a press conference every now and then on how their robot will be updated with new exciting options and tortures. Yes, uh, a quick example. In past years, you could follow, as I said, in large amounts. Everything counts in large amounts. Today, experts estimate you can only go up to 200 per day. Try to go past that. I was blocked for days and then for weeks and hence red flagged, red flag and shadow banned. Not a good thing. And because the only algorithm never ever reveals its settings, we basically act as guinea pigs all the time. If you pile up action blocks in a short span, you risk being shot altogether. And then you'll come here on YouTube and type in my Instagram as being closed down, how to recover it. I know users who disappeared without making any big announcements. No ciao ciao whatsoever. So to recap, Today, nowadays, it's not really feasible to doctor your growth without being written off by Instagram. I swear those bots people were using for automated activity on Instagram are now auditioning for a part on Transformers. Trust me, they are in a happy place right now. And please don't even go anywhere near buying followers or likes because this is going to have the same outcome on your account, a walking dead Instagram. I've never really tried that myself because I hate spending money on a platform, which is not my job. I have never actually set out to be an influencer or anything like that, so growing fast on Instagram has got no purpose at all for me. It is just a glitch on my self-esteem that I need to fix. Anyways, I can tell you that a fellow fashionista I know went for a fake followers route, and with the first Instagram purge dating back, I think, 2018, she lost a big chunk of them. I remember receiving a WhatsApp saying, minus 1,000. <laughs> not even mentioning issues with engagement when befriending those Russian Instagram handles. No hate towards Russia, is that a lot of these accounts uh, come from Siberia. <laughs> Any other shortcut to Instagram stardom is equally dangerous. Here I'm talking secret Telegram engagement groups, 
Instagram chats where you support each other. I like your fluo code and you like mine. Magic potions to attract adoring fans. Crystal balls to see through the algorithm. And even those popular follow chains where everybody follows everybody. Otherwise, they're mean. I'd like to open a parenthesis here on follow loops that become quite a thing in recent times, but I've never uh, really talked about. Basically, a best kept secret. Sorry, it was becoming really gloomy in here, so I had to turn on, on a light, a tungsten light. <laughs> As you can figure out by yourself, they entail exchanging follow favors. You can actually uh, find several loop niches on Instagram, but the most successful are surely those run by US moms. They are smart because they found a way to gain some money by setting up these groups where you are added to a chat and you have to follow the same instructions, uh, post a certain picture at a certain time, and then you have this mutual following and, and you gain, basically, you gain followers. Of course, when I realized that all my fans were waving goodbye to my account, I decided to join the free follow loops, not the premium version with all the perks because I asked myself, can I really suffer this dent on my ego? Of course not. In the very beginning, I thought nothing of it all, just a bunch of people following other people without them following. But other than that, there was no real connection. Don't get me wrong, I am friends with a lot of these mamas, but I have no genuine interest in diapersal strollers. And because of that, I have stopped hanging out in my feed altogether. Although I'd like to try out that food for Bambini one day. Same for them, no interest at all in my shallow suburban life. Zero engagement. And worse, right now Instagram is waging a proper war against act growth outside their system. Listen to me, outside their system. So why is Mark Zuckerberg waging this war? Does he want us to be pure? No, he just wants us to stick to a sole way of gaining sponsored campaigns. So. To come to the latest point, this is another issue I didn't understand fully. Today, the only way to go is the official one, like it or not, promoting your posts or stories. In fact, all your published content comes with a button which serves this purpose, promote your stuff. Mind you, I don't have a moralistic outlook on this all. Of course, everybody would rather be real, original, wholesome. But if you think you want to boost your growth for your job or any reasons you might have, please go the regular route if you can. Recently, I was kind of uh, surprised, but also pleased, to bump into a very well-known Italian actress with a sponsored post spot on my feed, which is perfectly okay, perfectly fine. I didn't say Italian fashion, but an Italian actress. Wow, we all have to sell ourselves. Just joking. Some have argued that while you're paying to promote some particular pictures of yours, the other ones might take a nosedive. Well, I can't confirm that because I've never used these services myself. So. Today, to conclude, the only viable strategies on Instagram are either putting yourself in their hands, especially if you aim at a, at a blue tick, or producing very good content, very good stuff that people enjoy, or even the two combined together. For example, nowadays you have many more content opportunities. Think about the reels. I've watched so many fun situations out there, raking up so many likes in few hours. Those content creators focus on working on their short videos, making us laugh. Authenticity is surely key here. So where do I go from here? Of course, I'll have to start a new, press the reset button again, but this will be the subject of another video. Video, like Spanish, the Spanish say video. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> See you next time. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Oh, 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 oh my. My us and my, I'm quite, oh, I am lucky because I'm so short, like a, a minion. I use like a minion. So I fit here with all the pots and stuff, you know. Well, what can I say about my first YouTube? Uh, I really struggled with the video because uh, there were so many issues I really didn't consider in the first place. Like lighting, lighting, okay. <laughs> audio and everything else I really it was a tough time for me uh, but I discovered that YouTube is a revolutionary social network network very kind of feminist because you can dress you can wear dress sash halfway on halfway to the top and smelly pyjama bottoms downstairs well <laughs> you thought I was wearing some Chanel shit no I'm not <laughs> And here, 
they caught me. This cup caught me. And when they ask you, actually ask you, where's the horse? <laughs> Which horse? No, because I am a modern I have a doggy whom I love so much. Uh, whom I love so much. No horse whatsoever. Maybe in the future. Who knows? <laughs> so.